cycling fans and today it's snowing i've chosen a right old day for try out some new gear you might have seen a few of my videos where i've um, told you what i got for my birthday and today is the day where i get to try it out i've got on the dmb uh, merino wool base layer so this i'm expecting to keep me nice and warm i usually you do use uh, like a, an under armor thermal base layer top but it does get sweaty i'm interested to know how merino wool acts especially in this cool temperature we're also trying out it's got mtb race comp lace comp sorry shimano spd first time clipped in in the snow i might be i might be kidding myself here also uh what else oh new jersey feeling that yeah, Jasmine got me that as well for my birthday. And from Works Secret Santa, I also got some new gloves. These, they're quite cheap. I think they're only about 9 99 But I've had them before and I really liked them. They're made out of wetsuit material. Keep you dry in the way and keep the wind out. And uh, they've got a little pad on the fingertips so you can still use your phone touch screen. So that's pretty good. So all that's left now to do is ride. <laughs> so that's the type of stuff I'm riding in like deep slush. Trying to stay out of it and stay on the road. Let's keep going. So one of the reasons I came out today was getting some foil tape so I can finish off my insulation on the roof of that camper van and building. Nice little ride though. Well impressed with these cleats on shoes, never used them before. <coughs> the, the power that you can put down in comparison with only wearing trainers, like that's all I've ever pedalled in, or boots. But I've never had anything clipped in, I've never had a shoe as stiff as this. Makes a massive difference. This top's keeping me nice and warm. So overall quite impressed. Just gotta go and pick up some buns so we could have a sausage butty when I get back for breakfast. <laughs> One good thing about this weather, there's less cars on the road. So I'm enjoying this nice open road. I'm really glad I came out, even though I didn't want to. These shoes are working out amazing. Hang on, can I come in? One unexpected result from wearing these shoes and clips for the first time is that I feel like my position on the bike has changed. It feels more comfortable, whereas in the past I was putting extra pressure on my calf muscles and my. Um, the long part of my foot trying to flex it straight so that I could maintain powerful pedaling. With these shoes being the hard bit, I, I can push down with my heels and still get a powerful stroke without the shoe bending. It also feels very different in that the upstroke of the pedal allows you to pull the power back as well effectively sharing the power stroke between a push and pull motion so I feel like I'm loads more efficient today so I'm just getting back now the roads are like this all the way down my road so we've got to walk down one thing I was surprised of I've been riding quite a bit with my face mask on, like there. It definitely makes it harder to breathe. And I'm wondering whether there's any benefit, like people do those restricted aerobic training, restricted anaerobic training, where they wear a mask and they monitor the VO2 max and stuff. 
and it's a bit like high altitude training because you're restricting how much oxygen you're getting and when I take the mask away it feels like a new lease of life a new spurt of energy so I'm wondering whether it really has much effect but if it has had effect I've been riding like that quite a bit so that's a good thing look at this here you can see Kieran's been doing donuts on his quad this morning um, so we're nearly back now but yeah that's a resounding success really like them pedals speak to you in a minute well I'm back and I'm extremely impressed with those so these are what I was using Scott MTB Lace Cop and you can see that I've put the cleats directly in the middle of where they make it available to. Now, from looking down at my feet and from trying to get my left foot in particular into the cleat over and over again and failing quite a few times, I feel like I've got this too far that way. Basically, what I want to do is bring my feet in towards the crank. It feels a little bit like I'm a little bit too wide at the moment and I think this would help with both power and being able to clip in because if I'm slamming my foot against the crank arm that's more likely that I can locate it much faster. Got the angle setting off from traffic lights keeping my right um, foot pegged in. Even standing about on slippy snow pavement these are perfect. They feel like normal shoes apart from when you step just a little bit forward and you can tell that it's a, a harder surface than you're used to walking on. Now, even after walking about just a little bit on pavements and nipping into a shop, um, these front plastic studs have already started to uh, graze a little bit, but they are replaceable. They come with a key so that you can take them off. Little tiny studs. But yeah, very impressed with them. The soles say sticky on them and I think they earned that name. Now one factor I didn't expect is because these are perforated all the way down the wind chill today was especially bad on my feet and that would be the reason for wearing um, basically rain covers or ice covers over your cycling shoes so that's another thing that I'd need to experiment with, perhaps on a longer ride. But yeah, dead impressed with that um, Merino wall top, the DMB one. I found that that in contrast with the Under Armour one that I, I usually wear. With the Under Armour one, if I pedal a lot, if I, if I do a bit of a workout, I get sweaty and that stays wet. It wicks it away from you, but it stays wet. Whereas the Merino wool one stayed completely dry and it was warm. So I definitely impressed with that and would highly suggest it I'll put a link in the description below but I think that's it from me today I tried out a few stuff we wanted to this weekend we're going for a longer ride again with Nick and right now I've got my stuff hung up and drying do you know what today is the only day where I considered thinking that mud guards might be a good idea on a bike I've always had to think about the mud guards I hate them they absolutely ruin the look of a bike but today, I don't think I would have minded one, just a back one. But we'll see. Do I sacrifice that for style? Have I even got a good enough back to warrant caring about style? Maybe not. Who knows? So thanks again for watching. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. Let me know what new gear you're all testing out and what your first times have been this year for cycling as well. And have a happy New Year's Eve.